Hello everyone, my name is Mbumi Mzobe. I'm a singer and a songwriter. Ooh, I still remember my breakthrough moment in my career like it was yesterday. Uh, actually, did it, it was back in 2013 when I first had myself on radio. I did a song with Heavy K entitled Wena and it blew up in the country and the next thing i'm just like oh now i think i need to start performing you know it just ha it happened so quickly and i remember that moment it was very special because i had been trying to break into the industry for the longest time and so when it happened it almost like it happened you know while i was not aware that it's happening it happened so sudden so yeah i remember it it was a special special moment and also the song was very personal to me because it was a song that was entitled uh, to my dad uh, uh, it was dedicated to my dad rather who had who was late already and it just spoke about you know striving to to be a musician and wanting to break in so much that the song was about so you know the song was just perfect for for a breakthrough song i i didn't meet heavy k until the song was recorded and done so heavy k was friends with the revolution twins so they would uh, record vocals for him in johannesburg because he was based in east london they called me into studio and they asked me to record the song. I didn't even know what it was about. And I quickly wrote the, the song and I recorded it. And then a couple of months down the line, I'm starting to hear the streets talking about the song. I'm just like, but I think I remember doing a song like this. And um, then I think they hooked up with Heavy K. He did the, he reworked the beat, combined it with my vocals. And that's how the song came about. And the first time I met Heavy K, we were actually now promoting promoting the song and I met him for the first time with his team. So what happened with me deciding to go um, as an independent artist was fortunately when I came into the industry I was already in my 30s so I was I was not young and I was not naive uh, I was aware of what was happening in the industry in terms of artists going into record labels and they are stuck in you know in very uncomfortable contracts and i didn't want that for myself so early on i was like until i fully understand the industry i'm gonna go solo and also you know when you're a new artist there's just so much that's happening around you people wanting to sign you and just yep 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 all over you so i wanted to just you know let the noise die down and then i would then decide what if i wanted to 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 record I mean to be signed by a label and then what I found out because I then started licensing with like big labels and then you know the treatment that I got from the from the big labels um, you know with you know the frustration of you wanting a certain song to come out and they're just restrictions you can't take out this song now because you know it just you end up with music and that is not released because you're waiting for timelines for someone's signature and that was very frustrating for me and I decided no there's no way I, I can't do this and also another thing that made me go solo was because I'm trying to build a legacy for my family as well this is my talent and with with being signed with a record label you're, you never own your masters and you know older artists spend years uh, fighting a very very uphill legal battle trying to get their their, their masters back so I don't want to I don't want to go through that in my adult life being an independent artist is not easy at all uh, firstly you need to you are responsible basically for everything you are responsible to build your own team um, that's gonna run in the ground with you you are responsible for your own PR your own marketing uh, you need to set up those teams and it's financially taxing and also I mean the support is not as great when we're independent it's not like when we're in a record label when you're in a record label you know you literally sit back and relax as an artist someone is taking care of your management someone is taking care of your music distribution someone is taking care of plugging your music on radio your t your, your music videos on on TV basically as an, an independent artist that all falls into your lap if you do not move nothing moves Hair is actually, it's very fun to play with hair. Uh, when I got into the industry, I was into big hair, very, very big and huge hair. 
and you know that was fun for me at the time uh, but one thing that I always advocate for is natural hair like I like being looking natural so even when I when I used to do big hair it was it would be an afro of some sort and I met, a, I met another stage in my life where I feel like I just want to express myself with you know with my very very natural hair short hair and also it's just to it's just to inspire younger girls out there that you can just step out and be yourself and and be in spaces like in the media industry you don't need to feel like you are under pressure to look a certain way to buy expensive weaves you can just be there and be yourself and people will accept you if you are just confident about yourself i collaborated with unknown people and um, some producers that i worked with they worked with me from my first album so the producers are known but the the, the talent the the collaborators the features are known because yo Nanda was once unknown and i needed someone to help me break into the industry and you know that the, the talent that we have in south africa is so vast guys we have very very talented people and you know for me their feature is a win for me because their sound is, is new, unheard territory, uncharted territory, so it's, it's exciting for me. You know, I'm a very big critic of my work. Um, I would record, say, I'd say I'm, I'm recording for an album, I would record and then when, when we think we are done with the album, I'm like, okay guys, give me a chance to just listen to this and I will sit with it, let it sink in. And I will come back and say, nope, I need, I need to go back and, and work with someone, you know, like just get out there. And I've, I, I did this for over a year. And um, until I got to a point where I'm like, no, you've done enough, girl. You know, like you're starting to irritate the team now, <laughs> you know. But I'm very satisfied. I'm very satisfied. It's my honest work. It's my literally my heart and my experiences and the experiences of uh, of people around me. You know, because I just I don't just sing about myself, but I, I I observe and I look at my friends' lives. I look at their love lives. I look at my community and what they go through, and I write about those things. So, which is why I entitled my album Abandu because it's about the reflections, my reflections of my society, my people, Abandu that I come across. Yeah. I got Ningbo and you say anywhere, wherever, where to Ningbo and you say any. I got Ningbo and you say anywhere, wherever, where to Ningbo and you say. Oya yi bona lenti zenya, yo sata lenti swa. Oya yi bona lento tangeya. Hi everybody, my name is Mbomi. I'm a singer and a songwriter. I have an exciting album called Abandu and it's available on all digital platforms. It's exciting. For the link, you can come into my social media on Instagram at Mbomi underscore Somanda. On my bio, there'll be a link. You just link in, it takes you straight to the um, uh, digital platforms.